welcome to Gerat YouTube channel. So basically right now we're having this series of videos so we're going to talk about what Gerat Singapura is all about. So one of the main things that Gerak Singapura is doing is actually IM or intermittent fasting where what we're going to talk about tonight. So tonight, I mean now in this video, we're going to be talking about intermittent fasting. So IF, if it's not now, it's when. And today we have uh, Mr. Ramad Jasmani and also Mr. Yusri Isnin who will be talking to us, uh, sharing with us more about IF, intermittent fasting. But before that, let's just do a short intro. Uh, let's start with Ramad first. Ramad, so why are you doing this and uh, siapa ni Ramad ni sebenarnya? Ramad ni manusia biasa je. Uh, so, I just... I'm doing this because I wanted to bring health back to everyone. Um, I wanted to, because we live in a very, uh, in a society where processed food is everywhere and it's very hard to make good um, dietary choices uh, amidst a sea of uh, bad dietary options. Uh, so the odds are against us when we want to talk about health because the options to eat healthy are very limited and then it doesn't help of course that uh, you know when the food choices are poor there's only so much you can do to 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 become healthy right. and so i guess that's uh part of the beauty uh which i will talk about later of if uh. so, so i yeah so you're, you're, you're in the health industry, right? As a... Yes. Yeah. Uh, so I'm a nurse by training. I'm a state registered nurse and I've been so for 14 <laughs> years. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Now, now uh, what do you think? Now I'm uh, continuing the training of uh, future nurses. I teach uh, emergency nursing and nursing and one of the local polytechnics here. Right. So yeah. you're a nursing lecturer. That's right. That the term? Right. Okay. Thank you, Ramat. So now we go to Yusri. So yes, Yusri. So you're turn now for your short intro. Um, yes. Why are you doing this? And yeah, a bit of a background. Okay. I'm a nurse by training like Ramat. In fact, I knew him from, I think, 14 years ago. <laughs> So yes, um, I've had 14 years in nursing. Um, basically, I stumbled upon intermittent fasting. Um, I mean, I, I encounter many patients uh, who are of our age, maybe a bit older, and, and they come in with a lot of problems huh, like diabetes and all that. So when I ask them, yeah, uh, what kind of food they eat, uh, I'm surprised because it's it's exactly what I've been eating. So I was thinking, you know, next person could be me, you know. I'm eating like they do mm. and they're in the hospital. So so I had to find a way to, to find out, you know, what's what's causing all this. And um so yeah, as part of my research I I actually found out that, you know, some of these guys okay, maybe let me backtrack a bit. There was this diabetic patient who told me, um don't eat rice because it's it's bad for diabetes. So that got me curious. You know, why not? Why don't it's our you know staple food? You always eat rice, but this guy told me don't eat rice. Maybe you just eat once a day. So I I dig up further and then found out that yes, um, refined carbohydrates like white rice cause um, you know quick insulin spike, and um, this is. A big part of what is causing diabetes. Mm -hmm. So as I dig further, I found out that you know some guys don't even well they don't eat rice, they don't eat um, breakfast, for example. Um, yeah, I mean we we've been bombarded with advice saying that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. So is it really true? Because uh, all this while I've been eating you know cereals, bread every morning, like what they advise us to do for the past donkey years 
and year after year my weight just keep going up and up my blood pressure keeps going up and up so there must be something wrong so i try you know i just i try a very simple thing just uh, you know just take coffee for for breakfast don't eat anything and alhamdulillah my weight stop started to drop my blood pressure started to become normal so i realized hey, there's something here you know so that's when i discovered um, if lah, intermittent fasting and part of it is, is about um, delaying your first meal of the day to as later you know to as late as possible to give your body a chance to become more um, insulin sensitive right hey. insulin sensitive i hear the word insulin uh quite a couple of times so the thing is um so the whole reason for intermittent fasting is to hold back your consumption or refueling like basically so basically you're emptying the tank your tank just to make sure that it's clean to be topped up again this is what is my understanding so basically i personally have been have been doing if since like last three months ago june and i've seen how it works and i i I, I guess I advocating it for a bit right now. So the thing is, uh, the logic of it, of IF, and uh, yeah, I, I'm not in a position to 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 talk about it scientifically or technically because I'm just the one that, that does it. 